What's up, P Nation? We just moved to San Francisco. We are gonna explore so much of the city with you guys. Like, honestly, we're gonna take ferries, we're gonna go like down to the pier, we're gonna see some seals. It's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna eat a lot of bread. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here. Let's show you our house tour, where we live in the city. It's gonna be amazing. our new home. Come on. Okay, so we have just arrived and we want to give you a quick house tour of our new place that we'll be staying here in San Francisco. So it's kind of like a communal type apartment where we are renting one bedroom with a shared kitchen. I'm pretty sure we're going to be sharing this kitchen with a few people while we're here. This is going to be our cabinet. Empty so far, we will change that. And then through the kitchen, some of these bedrooms have their own bathrooms, but we have a shared unit, I think with another, maybe this one, bedroom. Here it is, pretty much everything you would need. Full shower, toilet, sink. And this is our bedroom. Little bed, queen size, desk, and we have a view. Whoa, the sun, host's mother. Woo. So she made sure we could like open the door and we had the hardest time, it was the most comical thing because we were like struggling with the door and she was like, it's so easy, just open it. We were like, I don't know what we're doing. And yeah, great view of the city. We are three blocks away from the ocean or the park that's next to the ocean. So this is just going to be the most San Francisco time I think we will ever have in our entire lives. <laughs> And this is honestly the best part. Like we have our own backyard that ends in trees and a park right there. There's a hotel right here called the Seal Inn, I think that's what it's called. And it overlooks the ocean and that's where we're about to go right now. But like this backyard is amazing. Also, I wanna point out there's a wetsuit down there. Our neighbors are surfers. I definitely need to get out on that. All right, you ready to go? Oh, you're lacing up. Ready to go on a walk? Yes. This day is beautiful. We are now out and about. It's actually way nicer than expected. I thought it was gonna be super cold. So I was really expecting it to be like the most frigid place on earth right now. But it's really nice and we are in this adorable neighborhood. There's so many homes, they're all like really colorfully painted. And this is just like... I don't even wanna know how much it costs to live here because the complex that we're in has like two different floors for two different houses, like 18 yeah. different rooms, I don't even know. And we are situated right here on like the upper left corner of San Francisco. Like, what? how did we get this location? <laughs> Like you can see the ocean, but now that you're actually looking down and I see people down there, you realize like how elevated we are right now. Like it is so far beneath us. How do we get there? How do we get there? We gotta go through the park. You have to walk through the park and walk are there like a bunch of steps. Well, there's a road that we can go down. Oh, is it that famous road? It's like. I uh, know that's Lombard Street. We'll do that in a different video. And it looks like a big beach too. I don't think I've ever gotten a hummingbird on camera. This is a first. Whoa, are there two of them? That's a woodpecker. Oh, they're fighting. I wonder where that hummingbird is. So if you guys didn't know, watching birds, which is what she's doing right now, is her hobby. <laughs> like this truly is what she's gonna do when she's getting old. So like I need to accept that now. I need to start reading my bird books because we're gonna go on bird vacations. And just over there you can see the Dutch windmills. This is actually Golden Gate Park right here. We are on the north side of it and that's like the best park to be in and it's just right there. two of them. No, there's just one. And they're huge. Huge. Why does that like that? Huge. Oh 
And there it is. The Sutro bathhouse. This is just like not what I expected at all. It feels like we're in like some ruin, you know? And I guess technically that is what it is, but it's interesting to see it. This is just like so crazy. It's just right here on the water. It's a shame that they couldn't keep it up. And the graffiti's adding like a weird, like, am I in Athens right now? Where am I? And there's a cave. Have you been here before? Come on, this is only my fifth time. I feel like this is dangerous. This is awesome, it's actually my fifth time to come here and I think it's so funny that it's Leah's first time. In my opinion, I like that it's free, I like that the bathhouse is gone and you can just roam the ruins. Like she was saying, it feels apocalyptic and how can this be so close to San Francisco with this great view and like no one's done anything with it. I think the only reason that's been able to happen is because the National Park Service took it over and it's free for everyone to come to and I just love it here. Okay, this kind of reminds me of the Pacific Northwest because yep. it's really, really cloudy. There's a lots of big rocks. I think it's like the landscape in general with like the, the cliffs. It's just really reminding me of Washington, which is where Zach and I met. And funny story, and we'll try to make it short here because it's kind of a long one. The first time I was ever in San Francisco was for three hours, nearly six years ago, okay? And it was beautiful and magical, but also like I have very terrible memory of it because I was crying the entire time we were here. So here's the story, here's the background. Zach and I took a road trip for five days from Texas to Washington, and we had been, only been dating for a year, so we were having a very young couple argument. If my memory is correct, it was about vegetables. So we were having a very like young, 19 years old type argument about vegetables on like day four of a five day road trip, and I just remember crying a lot and so like I can't remember San Francisco I don't really have that good of a memory of it because it was like so traumatic and like painful I was like oh he doesn't understand me <laughs> so I'm back I'm here to redeem myself but it's gonna be so good I'm so excited to spend this time with Leah yeah <laughs> and that is it I'm very excited to be here for my experience to be this time better than before <laughs> fingers crossed thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching. <laughs> Going right. Just over there, you can see the Dutch windmills.